This video is brought to you by XMWX Satellite Weather. XMWX Satellite Weather is as vital as vision. Never fly blind again when you add XMWX Satellite Weather to your glass cockpit today. Come see the latest XMWX Satellite Weather has to offer at NBAA 2009 in booth 5359. Now, I'd be the last guy to say that pilots are complainers, but from time to time we do hear from owners and operators, hey, if I can have touchscreen control on my $150 car navigator, why can't I have it in my $40,000 avionics suite? Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from NBAA here in Orlando, Florida. And here at the show, Garmin has introduced a new avionics suite called the G3000. And the cool thing, it does have touchscreen control, and we're going to go take a look at it. We're in the Garmin booth here, and uh, we'll take a general lay of the land of the, of the G3000. First of all, this system is intended for Part 23 turbine aircraft. That includes uh, light turboprops and uh, light jets. As you can see, it's a three display system. It's designed to be a three display system. And these displays are landscape, uh, which means they're longer on the horizontal than they are in the vertical. And the size of the screens is 14.1. That makes it considerably larger than the G1000. Uh, the resolution is also quite a bit higher. It's at 1280 by 800, which is considerably higher than the G1000. Now, these uh, systems can be run entirely uh, by the touchscreen system down here that uh, lives on a pedestal. And these are all icon-driven touchscreens. Uh, and they would be familiar, actually, probably to a, uh, an iPod user. They work in some of the same ways. So we're going to have uh, Ben Kowalski from Garmin run us through some of the details on this. Uh, the G3000 is the next evolution in our integrated flight deck uh, series. It's, it's designed to give pilots uh, intuitive and rapid access to the information that's in the flight deck. Uh, so the goal with the new user interface with our touchscreen vehicle management system is to allow pilots to quickly get to the information that they need. Uh, this is a uh, system designed specifically for uh, light turbine aircraft, and so you may have a professional fly pilot that flies on a regular basis. You all may ha also may have an owner pilot who doesn't fly on a regular basis, and we felt it was imperative to ensure that the user interface was uh, simple enough that even when you're not flying on a regular basis, you can quickly get to what you need and easily bring up the information that you need to make decisions on that flight. The way the touchscreen works, it's actually infrared technology. This is a Garmin design. It's a patent pe pending uh, design uh, where we use infrared technology uh, to operate the touchscreen. So whereas our, our Nuvi line, uh, our car series of navigators, uses a resistive type uh, of interface on the screen, uh, this actually uses infrared technology. So what you're doing when your finger goes up on the screen is you're breaking a series of beams. What that enables us to do by using the infrared technology is to create a logic that's very smart uh, so we can prevent your finger from touching in two spots. Uh, that'll cancel out. Uh, if something, let's say, fr falls and ends up resting on the, on the screen, the, uh, the uh, logic actually says, you know what, this has been held for a long time and we should probably cancel that out. It'll give you a message to let you know that this spot has gone dead now. So we can do a lot of neat things with this type of uh, touchscreen technology. Yeah, our touchscreen vehicle management system can be used in almost all phases of flight. There are uh, a few things that you, uh, that you would uh, use by using the soft keys on the display. For example, if you wanted to adjust the uh, inset map on the, on the uh, primary flight display, you would use that by using a soft key. But all the other uh, functionality can be done through the touchscreen vehicle management system, uh, manipulating a flight plan, bringing up synoptics. Uh, all of those, that, that functionality uh, is driven from the touchscreen interface. A portion of the G3000 LRUs already exist. We're, we're building on the, the core G1000 system uh, and then creating some new LRUs for the G3000 system. The G3000 will have new display units. It has the touchscreen vehicle management system. It also has a remote audio processor. So uh, a good portion of the, uh, the backbone of the G3000 is already flying in the, the over 7,000 uh, systems, the G1000 systems that are in the field today. Uh, and a, a major portion of G3000 development is the software and we're anticipating uh, a second half of 2011 uh, TSO date. This video has been brought to you by XMWX Satellite Weather. See us at NBAA 2009 in booth 5359.